All about Symbian and mobile industry review. Well, I, you know, Android, um, you know, is really a marketing label for Linux-based development and open source development in mobile. Um, it happens to be, you know, Google's label uh, on, uh, on a distribution. So in that context, uh, you know, we've seen a lot of companies take those investments they've made in R&D and elsewhere in Linux um, and embrace uh, a semi-open model in, in uh, Android. And, and of course, as you point out, there's a, a, a lot of momentum behind that type of product creation. Um, but I think what you'll see over time um, is that if you compare ecosystems, I think you'll see many companies that are producing the Android products and services um, have yet to find a way to sustain returns on the investments they've been making either into the platform, into the products, or into those services. Um, in fact, you could argue that the lion's share um, of what will occur in an Android ecosystem will benefit Google, but few other, few other companies. So I think as we go through time, what will happen is there will be a shift from a lot of other companies uh, that don't embrace Symbian today um, to you know, leveraging the Symbian platform, more than that, coming into the Symbian ecosystem because they can get returns on those investments in what really is the largest mobile marketplace for, for smartphone products. Absolutely, you know, and I would, would extend an open invitation just to, to make a point here, if nothing else, that Andy Rubin and others on the, on the Google team can come sit on our councils, they can come check in code. Um, I haven't had the same invite from them. In fact, I haven't heard from anybody who's been invited to come have a direct role uh, from outside the Google business on the future of that Android system in any way. And so I, I do think that key difference uh, between us um, will make all the difference over time. Yes, I, I absolutely see it that way. We have a large uh, annual growth rate. Anybody who thinks the, the um, distribution of either in volume or value of the Symbian products is shrinking or declining um, isn't reading the numbers. Uh, we're actually growing quarter over quarter, shipping more units quarter over quarter, um, and by some estimates we have a 20% a plus uh, compounded annual growth rate uh, for Symbian product shipments. So in this context, yeah, I think the, the momentum definitely continues. And, um, you know, as people, again, realize the benefits of what we're offering in open governance, what we're offering in free code, uh, and other things that, um, you know, will we'll continue to get traction. Yeah, I think, you know, a few, uh, a few things are, are bound to happen. Um, one, because of what we've done in opening the platform and, and handing over the reins, if you will, of the future um, to, to the industry and to consumers directly. I think um, you know, one of the most exciting things about the next five years is that we don't know, is that anything can happen. Um, uh, you know, so I think, you know, wait and see, I think there are going to be some real surprises uh, in terms of where we go in that regard. But if, if you take it a step further, I think another thing you see is you, you see Symbian products going into uh, areas other than just mobile. Um, I think it's very likely you'll see that. I also think you'll see the Symbian platform grow um, in, in some pretty extensive ways. And what I mean by that is grow with the incorporation of applications and features uh, that will be quite unique for people. So, you know, I would think well beyond the area of augmented reality and these types of things. I would think beyond the area of simply web browsing um, and, and, you know, think about how you can mash up all of these things in some unique ways. Um, I think you'll see that on our platform first. I, the prime emphasis I would have on where to look for, in the, you know, for us in the future is what was going to happen in technology and mobile five plus years from now, now has a chance of, of happening in a much shorter time frame. This can happen in two to three years with our model and with the level of code access we've provided and with the member company and developer support we have. So the exciting thing is we're actually going to accelerate the future and, uh, you know, time will tell uh, exactly what those surprises are that show up in the platform. Stay tuned for more at All About Symbian and Mobile Industry Review.